What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Old School Farming well, Farming Simulator 2019 Gold Crest Valley. We are literally just a few moments as of recording of ending episode two. I decided to go ahead and jump in at three. Um, so we got a little ways. I think we were. I think we were right about here when we ended episode two, so we got a little bit down. We got a full load of cotton, the harvester. So Should put us fifty percent on that trailer because I believe they they didn't update to this recently, which should put yep fifty. They didn't change the harvester, but they changed how much the trailer here can hold and how much the baler can hold. I think it's 32 that is in the bail now so hopefully So we need to offload eight times, basically. So that's going to be fun. I don't know if we'll get that much. Trying to see if they added the ability to offload a partial bail. Okay, they do not say. And of course, with the official mod hub, all you can't leave comments to say, "Hey, can you make it possible to unload a partial bail?" So, I may be looking at. Uh, 
the version of the case module Express 635 that Stevia Less Mods did and see if I can find where the option to unload a partial bail is on that and add it to this at say 25% capacity which should be eight thousand liters. Yeah, eight thousand liters. Oh, here comes the fat cat. He's like, hey, what is that? I bought a bed for a squirt. The kitten. He's been a little indifferent to it. It arrived today. I ordered it yesterday. And I was talking to my wife about it. Because I really wish I could <laughs> inject a still photo um, in to the recording. And I'm sure I could, but I don't. I don't edit any of my videos. So, partially because I don't have the programs to edit. I know YouTube gives you some editing capabilities, but I don't know how to go about using it. And we missed some cotton right there. Why? we did. All right. Probably something with a heel or something right there. But I sent a picture of Squirt to my wife. And I needed a table to put a laptop on, an old laptop I had. In the back bedroom of our house, that used to be my office. And I needed something for a keyboard and all to sit on because I used my big screen TV is my monitor and I had it wall mounted trying to be back a little ways I had my keyboard plugged in to an extension and a wireless mouse but I needed something for it to be on so we had an old dresser that she had gotten for the kids well before I met Neil. The one, it was messed up a bit. One of the kids, I forgot what they, they'd done. They'd done something to it and it's, it was messed, the back was messed up some. Oh. So I took it, measured off cut across cut probably half of the side off of the front or the left and right sides off went in took a piece of old well I knocked off some wood that they had Oh, we're full again. Um, 
took some pieces of wood, put on the bottom to close it in along the rail section that the drawers would have slid in and out on to some um, spare boards or not spare boards but pieces of board that I had cut off of the sides and put that on the very bottom section where I had added the pieces um, to close off the bottom that way I had a shelf on the bottom and I wanted a shelf on the middle section also that I could put smaller stuff well I had a piece of press wood basically part particle board light MDF whatever you want to call it the stuff that the really cheap desks that you can get from Walmart are made out of that stuff so let's turn that off because we need to go empty this and get it to the other field turn our, our blinky bits even though we don't have any blinkers or anything had an old had a desk it was falling apart I brought it with me when I moved in that my wife moved in with her and I had bought it god it had been probably years at that point I had a piece of that that would work pretty much so I took it I might have had to cut it down a little bit but I made it did it and nailed it in to make a middle shelf well squirt decides instead of getting in his bed that's sitting on the top He's going to climb. He's going to get up on that middle shelf. So he goes, climbs up, gets on the middle shelf. He's laying up there, goes and rolls, and the next thing you hear is don't. Because it's sitting up against the wall, but that board isn't quite the full depth of the middle section I've got probably inch and a half on this side on the rail portion of, on the wood rail then you probably got another inch and a half or so between there and the front of the sides And I think it's like that on the back. It might not be quite like that. And it looks like I got a P. 
piece there I might have to pull off. It's like a staple or something in it. But again, okay, let's go down here to the Alice. Compact this real quick. But he was up there laying rolls and falls between the wall. Or falls off the shelf between it and the wall. And lands on the bottom. And the picture I took and sent to my wife, he's kind of looked, and I sent it to my friend, I sent it to Adam too. So, um, if I think about it, I might try to figure out how to do like a YouTube story or something. We'll post that. Pi I'll post that picture up. Um, but he's looking over in my direction, and he's kind of got this look on his face that. some cats will get and they're like okay why did you where they're like why, okay why did you do that why do you do that to me he's kind of looking over at me like okay what just happened why am I he why am I down he why am I down I was up why am I down so it was just it was funny and it looks like he's looking now He's standing on top. Well, he just jumped down. But, I don't know if... I'm trying to think. I might be zoomed in too much to... Well, you can see a little bit. So, if I post the picture to, like, a YouTube story or something, I'll get it shown. But, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But there's a little bit of blue behind that you can see in the picture. And that's a rolling toolbox. Um, I've actually got two. I've got the blue one and then I've got a black one. The black one's an actual tool toolbox. <laughs> the blue one is my toolbox for my gun stuff. Um, my pew pew. Um, I've got cleaning supplies, targets, good amount of stuff in there that I would need to do maintenance on my pew pews. So, um, I don't know why I'm saying pew pew other than the fact that <laughs> a lot of people that have that kind of channel or don't have that kind of channel, if they mention anything related to that lately, they want to block a video and whatnot. I'm not monetized, so I, I mean, I'm not. I want my content to be seen. I'm not in this to make money. I do it just primarily for the heck of it. Um, I just, especially right now, I need something to do since I'm home all day. Um, I 
I'm going to be on the computer most of the time doing messing around playing a game or something so why not record my playing and start uploading again like I used to um, even when I was working 40, 50, 60 hours a week I would record and upload um, so but and I still get other stuff done around the house and all for the wife so she don't get mad um and I know I've said it a couple of times in a couple other videos I did security work um well not my last job because my last job was which well you might as well say my last job was security I left it, took another job that was going to pay me more. Um, because as I was a security, I ended up becoming a, the site manager for the at the site that I was at for the company I worked for in security, the la this last company. I won't make a lot of money. Matter of fact, the company I worked for at or previously um, at the end of 2019 I was kind of working or doing the work of a site supervisor. I'm going to just go through right here and see if we can knock off some of this last section. Because for whatever reason, it's not wanting to pick up that little bit on the far end back over there. So. We'll just knock off three rows. Kind of give us a little extra headland area. But I had become a I had become the site supervisor. Not that I really wanted to be the site supervisor, but when you really don't have anybody else at the site qualified to do the job and the management of the site are happy with the job that you were feel doing in the interim while the original site supervisor that was there supposed was out for surgery and all kind of get stuck doing it um, at the time I had become the acting supervisor or site supervisor because I was a supervisor at the I was a shift supervisor um, as a sergeant with the company but at the time I was the only sergeant so when the previous captain went out on medical I was the only person of any rank there at the time we did end up promoting one, two, three people to sergeant. Um, two of them worked out good. One did not. Um, and when he found out he was 
not going to retain it after his 90 day probationary period or 60 day I forgot which um, he basically up and quit um, but we had already promoted another gentleman to sergeant um, but it wasn't going to he was promoted but it would not be 100% in effect until a specific date which was the day the previous sergeant for that shift was going to no longer be sergeant um we had some issues with him all it's there's a lot of a lot of stuff there that I'm not going to get into because that's not anything I want to get into with this um, I've kind of ranted a little bit about it and I'm sorry to go off on tension about that but um, so. but just the but well I know why I went off on the little bit of a tangent because of talking about PPUs um I did security. I did security for three years. Um, those three years I worked as a armed guard. So I qualified with weapons. Um, this last go round with the company that I left. Um, I qualified with shotgun. Um, it had been quite a while since I shot a shotgun. Matter of fact, it had been... I don't think I've shot one since the early 90s at that point. Um, it was... I'd say probably 1993, 1994 was the last time I had sh really shot a shotgun. Um, but to qualify, at least in the state of North Carolina, for the Private Protective Services Board, which is who governs, at least in the state of North Carolina, um, security guards. It's referred to here as the PPSB, as part of the Department of Justice, um, which I think the Department of Justice and the Department of Public Safety both have something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure because information you find states different things sometimes. But You're firing uh, I think it's five rounds of double alt buck two and three quarters inches and five rounds of rifled lead slugs. And I would have to go back and look it up, but I believe you've, to qualify, you have to shoot at least an 80. I know it's 80 for the pistol course. Um, trying to look. I think I still got the picture from Yeah. 
So, I did. I requalified last July, which because I'm no longer with the company, my certifications not good. I, if I went to another, if I went back to being an armed guard, I'd have to go take the course all over again because it's been too long since I've worked. Um, I think you've got 60 days from the time you leave one company to and go to another to have your stuff switched over. Um, I believe that's what I was told. But Shotgun. What's the shotgun? On the double off buck, you get a point for every pellet that strikes in the silhouette. If I'm correct, that's the way it looks. And then. It's six points for any slug that is on the silhouette that is not in the seven, eight, nine, ten, or X, and eleven points per slug that is in. The X that are in the number greens. Um, I can't remember if it was nine or twelve shot buckshot that we used. I think it was nine shot because I didn't have any off the target or outside the silhouette. You're shooting from as far back as 25 yards with this. So you're looking 25 yards, 75 feet with a smooth bore shotgun at a human sized silhouette, paper silhouette. Scored 95 on shotgun. Um, pistol. The day I was not happy about my performance, um, partially because I'm using a holster that I won't use to. Um, I won't happy with how the holster set. Um, it was just a kind of a generic holster that has the snap button closure strap instead of a actual um, for retention instead of an actual retention style device like you see um, on models like Safari Land so Um, I did score 96-8 there, and I believe night was about the same. It might have been a few points off. But needless to say, I'm proficient. 
that's just a little bit of background. So let's run up here, grab the cat. And it looks like I'm going to have to see if I can get that edited here soon. So, where are we at time-wise? Alright, so we should have enough time to get... this done. Before the before I would end the episode. Um I didn't need to see. trying to see what my friend, what Adam was saying. So, let's get back to harvesting. I think that's a full trailer. So, we'll get this finished. We'll get the trailer run, or we'll try to get this finished, because I would like to, I'm sitting what, right about 37 and a half minutes, I do still want to keep it between the 30 to 45 minute, but I would like to try to get as close to being done here as possible. probably most definitely going to have to look and see if I can find and get that edit made to the baler to be able to offload a partial bail. Because I don't think we're going to get four more awful loads out of this field. And I don't feel force caught. Is it still? That's not what I want. It's ready to harvest. I mean, we could buy it, go up there and harvest it, and then turn around and sell it. That might get me enough. But. Well, matter of fact, let's just. For right now, we'll go ahead and we'll buy it. Yes. If we don't use it, we'll turn around and we'll sell it. But just in case I can't get the baler edited to allow for a partial offload, eh, I might make it. Let me see. What's a third? It's usually a third's about good. So 10,000. 10,667 liters. So, that's why, I'm, that's probably what I'll do. Instead of a quarter, we'll make it a third of a bale. So, we'll have to have at least 10,000 liters to be able to offload. And, we're sitting at 50% capacity on the cotton harvester at this moment. Um, so. Not 
the only thing with editing it is then I'm going to have to get that uploaded to my drive so that we can get the edit downloaded to the server and Adam can get it. And depending upon how long it takes for that, it could keep me off the server. Unless I, well, I can back it up. That's what I'll do. I'll make it, I'll take a copy and stick it in a backup. And that way I could do the edit. See if it works and get the edit uploaded. That way we can get it down. Oh, we might have got well we're close to a third. Or not did I unload it two, two, so that's four. This would be the fifth. So we're close to a fifth offload but it take it would take eight to fully do that but let's bring this over here and we'll park it here in the dirt where we used to have a shed on 17. So, all right, well, we've got that. We're going to take a look at getting that edited here shortly. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed episode three. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to four. Um, it'll be soon. It won't be like right away, but it'll be here next day or two. Um, so. Anyway, hope y'all have enjoyed, and as always, have a wonderful day.